Good morning. Welcome to the City Council regular meeting of September 13, 2018. Good morning. Welcome everyone to our City Council A session agenda. The time is 9.15 a.m. We'll begin first by recognizing the guest of Council Member Sandoval. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Mayor, very much. As council members, we are privileged uh, to, in many ways, and one of those privileges is to be able to invite an invocator to, to council meetings. I believe this is not just a privilege, but something really personal, because when we invite our invocator, we share some of our spirituality, not only with our colleagues, but with everyone present and everyone who takes the time to watch our online transmissions. Until this date, I've had the privilege of inviting Archbishop Gustavo from the Archdiocese to give an invocation, Reverend Joshua Snyder of the Universalist Unitarian Church, and a longtime friend, Pastor Virginia Valenzuela from St. Paul's Catholic Church to give an invocation. Despite the fact that I identify with Universalists, Unitarians, and with Catholics, the truth is, Today, as many as 25% of our population does not identify with an organized religion. As age declines, in other words, as people get younger, that number gets higher to as high as 30%. But that doesn't mean that those individuals don't care about what's happening here at City Hall. It doesn't mean that they do not wish us well when we do our work. It doesn't mean that they don't want us to be mindful and thoughtful as we approach it. And the truth is, that's what I believe an invocation is. It's an opportunity to stop before we start, to stop and think, to find and recognize the intention in our work, and to do right by our residents, whether they believe in our God or not. It is in this spirit that I have invited my friend and constituent Mr. Nick Lee, to lead us in a non-religious or secular invocation. Some of you may think this is strange, but it's actually not all that strange. I gave a secular invocation when I was in college over a Thanksgiving dinner, um, so it's really not all that strange. Now let me tell you about Mr. Lee. He is also on the board of, San, of the San Antonio chapter of Americans for the Separation of Church and State. He is a past president of two statewide nonprofit organizations, Clean Elections Texas and Secular Coalition for Texas. Mr. Lee, thank you for being here. I do not ask you to bow your heads in prayer. I'd rather I draw your attention to the citizens who are gathered here today to do business with the city. They come from all parts of the city and from different economic circumstances and from ethnic backgrounds. Yet. They all hope to receive from you an equitable hearing of their concerns. And beyond this room, I ask you to remember all one and a half million people who you are collectively pledged to serve. Bear in mind the diversity of culture, economic interests, and religious backgrounds which are represented in this community. In terms of religion, this includes not only the many varieties of Christians, but also Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, atheists, freethinkers, and others. At this point, I draw your attention to some religious leaders who are gathered behind me here in support of this secular invocation. Every citizen of the San Antonio looks to each of you to apply wisdom, integrity, and rational thinking to the affairs of the city and to treat all fairly and without favor. As a secular humanist, I believe that we have the power within ourselves to solve life's problems and challenges through logic, reason, compassion, and compromise. As our elected representatives, we hope your decisions today will be based on the common good with an eye to their impact on all citizens and on future generations. And on behalf of the many thousands of atheists, agnostics, freethinkers, and secular humanists who live and work in this community and contribute to its prosperity, I thank you for this opportunity 
to present what I believe to be the first secular invocation in the 300-year history of the city of San Antonio. I hope it will not be the last. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee.